Hi guys, it's BSD here, when I speak tech. Hello YouTube. I have been asked some weeks ago by Raf, can you make a video about the MGL wheel camera? So yeah, why not? Guys, I have digged in today further into the MGL camera. Wanted to show some things uh, for you to consider. This camera is created by the dev called Marco. And as I read here on the Google Camera Port Hub, versions created by Marco are optimized to work on the OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T. His starter versions come with good default settings configs and don't require any changes, which I can only say to this hooray guys. Now, how does things stand in reality? If you wanna find out, stay with me. I have installed here one of the latest versions created by Marco, right? Namely the MJL Mini Lux, which is based on the Arnava 703. If you wanna find out, you know, what you can do with this, what these basic settings inclusion means, you know, just stay tuned, watch this video. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. And with that said, and without any further ado, guys, I will now start the introduction. So we have mainly these several versions here created by Marco. There is a very big OnePlus 6, OnePlus 60 channel on Telegram. Those are the versions, guys. MGL Miniflex, which is based on the Google Camera 6.1, right, which is pretty much an old one, but many XMLs are already built in, most available settings optimized for the OnePlus 6 and the 60 preferred version, best quality here as well. The caveat here is there is no Astro and no SRZ, which I think is super zoom on Android 10. All right, and then we have guys, the MGL Mini Lux, which is based on the Ernix 73. And as you might already have guessed, this is the version that I have installed on my OnePlus 7 Pro, all right? Some XMLs are built in, many quality of life improvements optimized again for the OnePlus 6 and the 60. It is in active development. And with that said, and no further ado, I will start now the camera and we can test some of the basic settings. So stay tuned. And we are back and guys, some of the best things already. I am running our Nova 7.3 here and I managed to install the MJL Mini Lux based on Ernix 7.3. So no problem whatsoever with compatibility. Now I'm starting it for the very first time. We need to allow, of course, the right to take pictures and then location only when using the app. Then again, allow, allow the basic things and boom. Now the first thing we notice when we start a camera, there is this nice explanation that kind of guides you through some of the things that honestly, I was not able to see on the uh, Uronix or Arnova Google camera that I have used uh, because I'm mainly a Google camera Arnova or M Unix user. So to show this message again, long press the AWB button. MGL has built-in XMLs, adds a lot of quality of life improvements and customizability. Here are some general tips, guides, and first steps. And guys, we need to understand together what this quality of life improvements and customizability means, but I hope that by the end of this video, you'll have the answer. XMLs, XMLs are stored configuration files for different scenarios, so it's quick and easy to switch between them. Now, if you have been following my channel and you're watching my videos, you know that XMLs really are like the core essence on Google camera, like settings, custom settings, and all the tweaks, and people really do ask me, okay, compare this, compare that, but XMLs really make sense when you compare things to just use different settings, let's say for portrait, for nature shot, for close-up shots, whatsoever. Most settings which do not influence image quality are fixed and are not changed with XMLs. Okay, this is quite good. You have to go in settings, pull down from the top and customize them to your preferences like the camera sound location. And this is what it's meant here, settings that will not affect your quality. So if you turn the sound of the camera when you're making pictures, of course, this will have no impact on quality. This is pretty much guide interface and it's a little bit different from what you've seen in the other Google cameras. XML loading area, it's the standard stuff. Now, when you press uh, down below where the shut button is, you can double press, then, you know, you got up uh, the pop-up menu. XML button, now this is something, guys, that I don't see in many of the other Google camera versions. So when this button is empty, you have no XML loaded, all right? Now, I'm gonna show what you can do with this button, but apparently you can pre-configure this button and go and choose different XML selection based, let's say, on uh, scenes you want to shoot like portrait photos or nature photos, landscape, whatsoever. Then you have also an AWB button or a button for the auto white balance. And I pretty much seen this in some Google camera modes. And then we have the Astro button. This Astro button is only visible in night side mode and turns the Astro photography on and off. Okay, we press okay guys. And with that said now, here everything is reloaded and we can already see. So we have here two buttons. So this is the auto white balance, which right now is off. When you press it here, it turns on. And we can just see, guys, if we go here now, Google Out White Balance, it's set to already on. If I press like this, I should be 
seeing now okay google out white buttons press to off all right and here guys this is the button for the xml now when i do like this right you see i've already changed the mode to another xml all right now i get a message here that i have only one standard configuration so i cannot further change it but in order to go and have more settings there you need to go here go to settings right now there are a little bit of a different changes here to the interface you usually see so like okay here we have mgl like channel message join telegram group donation button then we have the mgl settings which is something not to be seen in other google camera modes and then here we have xml menu standard configuration the viewfinder buttons and special settings then general are like more standard stuff all right and I think if you go just just you go down below, you pretty much are going to see the most standard stuff that you also see in other reports. If we press on info, we're gonna see that we are indeed using the GCAM 703, which is actually created by Yearnix. So the MGL GCAM mode is based on that one. But let's go back to these interesting settings here. We see MGL settings. Let's press the first one and see it, XML menu. With this or from this menu, you can add or remove XML by pressing the switch. And I can show you guys all these different XMLs are already incorporated into this Google camera. So we have the G-Type here, classic Google Pixel and Nexus style, good level of relief, counter saturation. We have HDR extra, genuine HDR effect. We have Juan O, legendary Juan style settings, usable for every situation, not super res zoom. But remember, we're using Gcam 7.3, so we don't have super res zoom or it's not working that good as in 7.2. Then we have Juan super res zoom. We have looks port with, if you want to take, you know, some portrait, you have pretty, this is the XML for people that think that Google camera creates the over sharpening, extreme over sharpening on the faces of the guys and the ladies. So you can choose that one. And then we have furthermore XMLs. And in fact, you can also add your XML here. If you message the guy you PM in Telegram and you of course are or created a nice XML. But guys, let's go here to standard configurations, all right? Switch XMLs on the XML button on the viewfinder. And this is pretty much the option that I have enabled now. Now, right now I have only the chosen XML for the day. So when I'm using the camera in the day, I'm loading the Juan all XML. If I want to change this, let's say, all right, and just go and use sharp and natural, you're gonna see it's gonna be changed. Now, I don't have any other presets for night, for people and for food or such already. So let's say for night, I'm gonna go and choose HDR extra. Okay, and then for people, I'm gonna be choosing pretty, and then for food saturated, I'm gonna be choosing X type. Now, when I go back to the Google camera, it's gonna get reloaded. Now, when I press it, the Google camera will rejoin, and then I have the daily one, okay? Then I have the one for the night, then I have one for the people, and then I think this one is for the food. So you see how this works, guys? I think it's really very usable, and in fact, the only remark I have is that it kind of like contrasts this to the overall uh, user interface and design, you know, by Google for the Google Camera 73, but it's very useful, okay? Now, when you double tap here, okay, you see you're able to also like custom or manually change these XMLs by yourself. So let's say I'm gonna go for the looks portrait here. And when I change the XML here, you know, what I do like is that you have an icon so you know always what XML are you using. I think this is very, very useful by the way. That's not all guys, there are many things here. So if we go to the special settings, this is something I wanted to show to you. Apparently this camera is able to add the XML name in the file name of the picture you save, right? But this comes with some caveats because I believe that if you're using this and you have also ported modification, so let's say I take a photo of myself, a portrait photo, and I want that this Google camera mode applies the XML name to the file name, I will not be able to adjust the blur depth in Google Photos, right? So this is a caveat. So honestly, I will not use this function. But in case you're comparing many XMLs, because you have plenty of XMLs, then maybe, you know, it's going to be a very useful function for you. And then guys, here you can also force the 12 megapixel mode instead of the one that is 16.3. Have in mind that this camera mode is really optimized for the OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T. Make grid settings persistent, very useful. You can change and load as many XMLs as you want, but then you will always have the grid there, which I think is quite useful, guys. So again, these special settings, you know, the viewfinder buttons, the standard configuration and the XML menu, which is under the MGL settings are really something very specific for this camera and I really applaud Marco for doing that. Now, let's see what we have under the viewfinder buttons. If we go there, guys, see, we can really do a lot of things here. XML button, right? So you can remove that one and then, you know, just gonna get like a standard Google camera view, no XML button here, right? I think, you know, this is very, very handy, really. Going back to viewfinder buttons, enable that one. 
XML button background. Now, when I remove this one, you see here, uh, the background really is transparent. Now, again, that's just something very minor, but you know, I really applaud the fact that it's there. Now, when we put the background back and we go here, we're gonna see like a gray background, all right? So uh, you see, these kind of like tiny details, I think Mark taken care about that, very nice. Same for the LW button. You can remove the button to enable the auto white buttons, and of course you can remove the background. You can turn it off or turn it on. And even here, very important, you can use a color circle to indicate if it's on or not. Right now I'm using this. So when I go here, now I see that the AWB is off, is red. When I press like this, it turns green, which means it's on. And again, I really applaud like all these like quality of life improvements. I do believe that these are like this quality of life improvements, guys. And again, special settings, I think we covered that one. So guys, I think this has been really like the majority of the features in that MGL 703 build. Now let's do some picks, guys. Like always, you know that always when I'm testing a new Google camera, I'm doing some picks just to see if everything is correct, right? So let me just try a pick of that one here, all right? Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna be doing the same picture here with Ornova again, not a full comparison, but just to make sure that, you know, we kind of like at least test it. All right, so just, all right. Okay, have it here. Now, let's see here. Here we have the Ornova photo, okay, which I think, yeah, with the sixth arm priest XML, it's pretty perfect. You know what? Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. I think here sharpness is a little bit more here not so much but again probably it was a focus thing i need to go and do some more of course tests and probably in the future i'm going to do like a more thorough test why not although you know i'm not a big fan of testing different google camera mods but i probably can do this if you guys want me to do so let's take another one here so this is with the arnova camera okay let me focus on that one here okay and i'm going to do another photo with the mgl mini looks or mini looks let's try to do it okay holding my breath all right now I see here, okay, I, yeah, pretty much the same results, guys. So you see, see what I mean? But of course, you know, the basis here is just a Google Camera 7.3. And I think, guys, you know, with that set for me, this is probably the main things that I wanted to show you in this MGL Minimals Camera. Now, one last thing, when you go to the night side here, you're going to see that you have the Astro button on and off. Now, for some reason, this didn't really work for me because I just thought that here, the XML button is really the button to activate the night side, but actually you have to, to do this uh, here below. Okay, you see what I mean here? Astro photography on, Astro photography off if I manage to press it quickly. Okay, you see here, now it's on, and I think now it's off. All right, guys, with that said, this has been the MGL Mini Lux 73 Gold Camera. I really hope that you like this video and all the efforts that I put in, guys. Thank you for staying through the end of this video. Again, like it, subscribe to my channel, and just make sure you come back for more. Stay at home as much as you can, guys. You and your families, stay safe. And with that said, VST over and bye.